hello guys so in this tutorial i'll be explaining you about that how to upload a file using auto it tool with selenium and java okay so before writing a script first we need to do some downloads as you know uh, first we will download this auto itx java dot char and using this jar we can actually write an auto it script in java okay and after that you need to download one another jar called jacob jar okay you just click on these links and you will it will take you to the page and you can directly download the jars from there and once the download complete you just need to add these two jars into the build path of your project okay and after that you need to download and install an auto it tool to inspect the windows element so you just click here and you can directly download the auto it tool and it will gonna look like this so we will use this particular you know tool to inspect the uh, you know elements of the windows so that we can perform actions on it okay and uh, after that okay one more thing so once you download the jacob jar you will get the dll files along with that okay so you will get two dll files so it depends on like which windows operating system you are using if you are using 64 bit window then you have to give the path of this particular dll file into your uh, script and if you are using 32 bit then you have to give this uh, 86 uh, version of dll file into your script you have to give the path of uh, that dll file okay and here i have mentioned the command like how to you can you know give the path of that dll file into the script okay and uh, let me show you so this is the website and here you will see a button code upload files and if i click on it it opens this windows pop up now i need to enter the file path over here and then i want to click on this open button so the two actions i need to perform one is type the file path and the second one is click on this open button okay so for that i need some unique identity of these two uh elements so that i can perform actions on it okay so for that okay let me just open this particular tool so here you would see a finder tool you just need to drag this and drop it over here okay now you would see the class and instance the class is edit and instance is one so these are the two important attributes that we will use to identify this particular element in auto it there is an attribute called control id we will use this uh, particular attribute and this is a combination of it is basically a combination of class plus instance so here for that input box control id would be edit one so class is edit and instance is one so it is edit one similarly i will inspect this particular button here the class is button and instance is one so the control id would become button one okay so let's go back to the script okay so this is the script i have uh, written so it's a simple script what i'm doing over here i am creating an object of firefox driver and i'm giving the path of uh, gecko driver server and i'm opening this particular website and i'm clicking on that upload files button this one and after that here auto it script will come so here what i did first i gave the path to the dll file as i told you that as i'm using 64-bit windows so i have using the 64-bit dll file so i've given the path and it's here in my uh, lib folder so i've given the path of this particular file and uh, and then okay one important thing is title so if i go here you would see the title of that windows pop up, pop up it is basically it is a file upload right so we will use this particular title as well to identify that particular uh, basically that particular windows pop up so we need this particular title as well so here i have stored the title which is file upload and this is the file path which i want to upload and now here what i am doing i am uh, as soon as i click on that upload file button so it appears right so here i am waiting for that particular uh, pop up to become active so here i am using three parameters i am passing three parameters if i show you one is the title 
and second one is the text and third one is the timeout title i showed you it is file upload and text it could be any open text any visible text basically so here if you see a uh, visible text could be file name open cancel and you can use uh, this kind of you know text to uh, make sure that you know the pop up actually the windows is uh, the pop up is actually visible this text is actually visible on that particular windows pop up so here i'm waiting uh, for this particular windows pop up whose title is file upload and this text should be displayed on that windows pop up and the timeout is 20 seconds this is the maximum timeout okay and after that and uh, here if you see i created an object of uh, auto itx class as we have downloaded and configured this jar into our project so this is the jar and this jar has this class so we have created an object of it and this of uh, this class has all the functions which we are using to interact with that uh, windows elements so here another function is control send so here what we are doing we are passing some parameters let's have a look at those one is title which is file upload and another one is text and the third one is control id and this is string that we need to write so here we are not going to use text as we are already using the control id so it is enough to use you know one attribute to identify the element so we know the control id of uh, that input box which is edit one so i am writing that control id and this is the file path and he here i am leaving it as blank okay and after that i am using a control click function to perform click on that open button which i showed you this one and here the control id of this button was button one okay so here again the three parameters i am passing one is title the third the second one is text which i said i am using control id so there is no need of this particular parameter so i am sending as blank and here I am giving the control ID of that button. All right. So let's run this. Okay. Let's open the website. It clicked on that uh, button and okay it entered the path and clicked on that uh, button as well you would see here that image is uploaded you see this is the image i uploaded the file path which i gave and and this script like working i mean the auto it script i'm using in java using i'm using this library and this is working perfectly fine so i hope like you can implement this you know if you in your project if you are facing any issue with selenium you know to upload the file so you can use this particular approach to automate the file upload scenario yep so this is it for this particular tutorial thank you guys bye